So we're going to start the intermediate sketching so you can see the steps. All right. Remember, there are also steps that was given here as well. So we're going to go into this. We're going to start a new drawing, which we've done. We're going to select the uh, plane that we want to draw on. And I can also right click view to normal to get to my two dimensional view. So which means we should see front. All right, uh, so now I'm going to go to the next slide. I'm going to choose, uh, I forgot to choose my sketch. So I'm going to choose my line and my construction. And from my origin, I'm going to draw a vertical line. All right, so I'm going to draw a vertical line. I'm going to go to line tool and I'm going to draw the shapes that it's given. So the shapes that we have here, we're not using any specific measurements just yet. All we're doing is getting the initial shape of what it looks like. Once we have that, we're going to add our curve. So it's telling us to use a three point curve. I'm going to go here, three point arc, sorry. And I'm going to select here. The top end point should not be vertical to the bottom. So that's probably what some of the errors are you are getting. So I'm going to start, stop, and make sure that I'm getting the shape I want. Once we have that, our next slide is to mirror. So I'm going to go here. It's going to be most likely on your own. Um, I'm going to go to mirror, select the mirror line, and I'm going to select my entities I would like to mirror. So you should see it coming up as you select it. I will unselect mirror, so we are out of the mirror command. Once we've done that, I'm going to create an arc between the two endpoints here. So we're going to go to our Tangent arc, select that, and I'm going to select my endpoint and snap to my endpoint. We want to make sure that the endpoint of our uh, construction line lines up with our center point. So I'll go to the coincident. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here. So now it's line aligned with each other. Next, we're going to add our dimensions. So we're going to make it to what we want. So my first thing I can do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to put it to 200. Then I'm going to change this height to 50. I'll chain, put my base to 125, so I'll select here and here and get my width, so it's 125. My radius for this is going to be 125. Right, and then my radius here is going to be 75. So that's our initial shape. We'll move on to the next. We're going to offset an arc on the inside. So our center point is concentric. So we can find our offset if we go here, go to offset or O being our shortcut. And I'm going to select the object that I would like to offset it to. Make sure your arrow is pointing on the inside. It's going to automatically go on the outside so we can drag it and actually put it on the inside. All right. I'm going to put 
40, because that's the distance for our offset. Next, I'm going to put a uh, vertical line. Escape to come out of the command. Our next step is to create a tangent from these two endpoints. So we are still in our tangent arc. We're going to click on this, select one endpoint to the other endpoint. We're now going to mirror this. Okay, so our next slide is to mirror. I will select my mirror line and I'll select my two entities I would like to mirror. Come out of the mirror tool. All right. I'm going to go next. It's also telling us we should check to see if it is tangent, so we can do that by selecting our two ends, and I think it's fine. So we're going to add an arc at the bottom, same tangent again. I'm going to click from one endpoint to the other endpoint. Now we just need, oh, we, now we have to add our rectangle. So it's a rectangle with a center point. You can find that if you go here, center point rectangle. And I'm going to place it from my center line and create a rectangle. I can now go in with my dimensions. So I'm going to click my dimensions. And I can go with this first, go in this direction. And let's put 15 is our radius. We can fix that after. All right, our radius for here, we don't want it to cross over. Is 40 in radius. Our height for this particular part is 20. Our distance between that and the base is 25. So we've positioned that. Our base of this is 80. I'll escape that. Let's go here again. Actually, I'm going to move this down. So the base of this. Oh, make sure that you're not on the second line because then it's going to automatically want to give you an angle. 80. Now I can always move this over after. And then the height from one center point to another, here to here. Put it here, we're gonna move that radius after. is 100. I'm going to grab this and just move it out so we can see it. And I can also move this up so now none of our dimensions overlap each other. I can get rid of this. I'm still in dimension. We don't want the dimension of it. All right, so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to do my tangent again. So I'm going to click one endpoint to the other endpoint and we should be good now. All right, I think I have everything. I'm going to accept. 
Let's see what our next slide says. All right, so we're going to accept. I'll click the area. Something looks a little weird here, so I'm just going to double check that. Okay, we're going to take our tangent arc and we're going to select here to there. And then we're going to mirror it, select our mirror line. And then make sure this is tangent to each other. All right, guys, so that is it. That is what our drawing will look like once you have finished. I hope this helps.